very warm welcome from adreka guys my name is deepak so uh, let's get started without wasting any time so let's understand that why exactly we need business intelligence like what is the need of having the business intelligence let's talk about it so before we talk about what exactly uh, business intelligence is uh, uh, you know let's first of all understand the component exactly like what exactly business intelligence stands for and why we need power bi so the reason why we need bi is like there are various reasons the first reason is that to in, uh, in, you know to boost our productivity so uh, power bi uh, before that we have to understand what bi is one of the biggest advantage of bi is that it helps you to boost your productivity wherein you can fetch the data from uh, different sources and you can create the report uh, in a single shell like for example i have different data in different formats and different sources i can just try to accumulate all the data from different sources and i can get that information published on one side the next is to gain sales and marketing intelligence here in this case uh, you know in whether it's a you know product based company whether it's a service based company every company have a end goal to uh, you know make the people happy so basically to make their clients or customer happy so in this case uh, it basically gives you an opportunity that you can uh, track your existing customer you can see that how well you are doing with, with the current customer what are the weaknesses you have so that you can improvise and you can uh, establish the good uh, reputation in the market last one is results closer to established goal wherein whatever your uh, company has a target so you will be able to achieve the target and uh, you will be able to uh, you know uh, fetch any information from the market as well like uh, what all the improvements you need to do and you can do those improvements just to have the good um, you know foothold about you in the market the next is gain insights into consumer behavior where you will be able to see that like what are their buying trends like uh, are you going into profit or loss like uh, every month are you making some profit some improvement or you are having a loss all this kind of things you will be able to track of it next is return on investment wherein uh, once you are able to find out the weaknesses like what were the different weakness if you are not doing well if you have basically made some enhancement now are you doing well and all you will be able to check everything out last is to turn data into actionable information so your uh, business intelligence system is a tool which gives you the insight that you need to make successful strategic plan for your organization so that your company can grow and eventually you being an individual can also grow now the question here is like why we need power bi like what is the advantage of having power bi there are various advantages of having power bi one is machine learning you can easily integrate with this uh, ml and uh, here you know from your data from different sources can easily be accumulated and it's going to give you a huge advantage that each and everything like uh, every data it's going to lie into a single shell next is mobility which basically allows you to move from one place to another like if you have uh, basically a, a data from one source and you want to fit into the another source so that you can uh, combine them together and you can basically see that uh, you know like uh, you can have a visualization from different sources instead of having like a different different visualization tool for different different data stores you can have one visualization tool for different data stores so uh, at the same time if you want to migrate yeah, let's see your data store from one side to another it's going to support that as well the other one basically is advanced analytics so you know uh, basically specifically the people who are in the management they are uh, like what their end goal is like the people in the management they are uh, you know considered about the numbers they basically want to see that uh, you know how well we are doing at the same time you know companies going in profit or loss like uh, they just want to have the graphical representation they don't want to go in technical aspect of it so in this case we are going to get that uh, advantage that you can uh, have that advanced analytics you basically can have entire things in a visualization form you can have the pie charts graph everything with the help of which you can easily show to the management and last is a cortana integration that you can easily integrate with cortana next is lower upfront cost it's not like that you have to spend tons of money for this you can you have to spend a limited amount of money and uh, you can basically even recover that limited amount of money that you have spent, uh, spent in a shorter uh, time frame it's not like that you have to spend a lot of money and you are you know wasting your time on that next is api for integration it basically provides you different apis for integration and wherein you can have a data from a different format and you can basically integrate that uh, you know data from different format into your system 
Next is the customization. Basically, you can try to uh, customize the data as per your requirement. So, uh, like for example, if you want to convert your data from one format to another, if you want to make any kind of customization, entire customization can be done. Next is the user friendly because with the help of a pie chart graphs, uh, the reports that you create, each and everything here is user friendly. So there is no need to uh, you know like worry about some of the complex tools and technique. Each and everything is very easy to understand. Plus, it's also user friendly now we got a fair understanding uh, why we need bi and why we need power bi now the question lie here is the original question what exactly is power bi you know what exactly is power business intelligence so your power bi basically is a free business analytic tool which is given by the microsoft so where it provides you various functionality like aggregating where you can combine the data from various sources and you can store it together next is sharing data you can share the data uh, between the various sources and uh, you can basically try to uh, accumulate the data into a single data store so data from multiple data store can be uh, stored into a single site uh, in a centralized server that you can again replicate to a different environment so that you have like that high availability created next is visualizing so basically you can have a visualization form with you so wherein you can have a you know a kind of a um, you know uh, like holistic up your uh, pictorial representation of your actual raw data that you have and last is an analyzing where you can analyze the data in different formats and you can see how well we are performing now talking about different users of power bi we have so many different users uh, that we have for power bi now no like for example from technical field to non-technical we have so many like it professional developers your business analyst your smes uh, which are subject matter expert we have various uh, people from a uh, different department who basically uses power bi on day-to-day -day basis depending on the requirement that they have now talking about the components like what are different components that we have for power bi so we have power query with the help of which we can try to search the query like the in the base uh, uh, you know in the case of database we have a query we can try to search the database we can try to see that what are the components that we have in a database and all likewise we have the uh, query here with the help of which we can try to easily interact with the system and we can write the custom queries and we can uh, try to fetch the results next is a power pivot uh, which is basically easy data modeling uh, tool like uh, with the help of which you can uh, try to have some visualizations some graphics some logical data and embed it into the system very easily next is power view with the help of which you can basically analyze your data from different formats and you can uh, create the visualization of uh, data into a different different structure different different form like graphs pie charts uh, you know different figures you can create uh, the next one is a power map which basically helps you to have interactive visualization where your data can be read and updated in a real-time format now moving on talking about the structured learning at Eureka. if you are highly interested to take a course uh, where you want to learn each and everything end to end because right now this is something a glimpse of it if you want to learn everything end to end um, then you can enroll for the course and let me give you a walkthrough that how the entire structured learning looks like in the very first class you will learn about what is power bi its component different components of it in the next class you will learn about power bi desktop and data transformation its component sub components of it in the third class you will learn about what is dax which is data analysis expression different kind of characters expression that it support the next one that we have is data visualization which basically helps you to integrate the data in a different format the next one is introduction to power bi service q a uh, you know quick insights all our information in detail next one is connectivity modes so the different connectivity that it supports and the things in detail in the seventh one we have power bi report servers uh, you know how basically uh, reporting works and all this kind of stuff next one is using r and python language in power bi how you can basically perform automation with this all that kind of integration you're going to learn in the ninth class you will learn about how you can perform advanced analytics in power bi with the perspective hands-on uh, and last class you're going to have the in-class project from our side and at the end you're going to become a superhero who is going to have a cape like this so that's going to be the journey with power bi that you're going to get now you have certain uh, advantages of power bi let's talk about what are some of the key benefits some of the advantages that we have for power bi the biggest advantage is like it already have the uh, you know pre-built dashboards 
uh, with the help of which you can uh, have the data in a visualization format automatically. You have you have real time uh, dashboard updates where it uh, synchronizes with your environment in a real time manner. Whenever you make any changes in the environment, it's going to be updated here in a real time. At the same time, it can secure uh, your data as well because you know the uh, right now in the digital world, security is the main con uh, concern. At the same time, you can integrate with uh, familiar Microsoft products, and at the same time, you can also use the availability section from cloud uh, as well, which is from Azure. You can have the data in a high availability. You can create a cluster where data is going to be replicated to different environment. If let's say first node is down, second node is going to be up, second node is down, third node is going to be up, and likewise. And at last, we are going to have the fast deployment. Now, moving on and talking about, um, you know, what are the different building blocks that we basically have of Power BI. So we have various building blocks of Power BI, like visualization. With the help of visualization, you can have the data in a graphical format. Uh, so basically, a visualization is, uh, you can say, a visual representation of your data, like chart, graph, color-coded map. So the goal of visualization is to present data in a way that provides context and it provides the insight. Talking about a data set, this is a collection of data that uses Power BI to create its visualization. So data set can also be uh, considered as a combination of many different data sources, which you can filter and combine to provide a unique collection of data. Talking about a report, this is just a collection of visualization that appears together on one or more pages. It is used to create many visualization on different page and arrange them as required. Dashboard basically is a visual display of your information to achieve one or more objective, like single screen display, alert the user, all those kind of uh, updates you can get it on a dashboard. Tiles basically you can say it's a kind of a single visualization found in the report on a dashboard, which is a rectangular box which contains each and uh, every individual. So these are some of the key benefits. Thanks for joining this today's webinar. Bye bye. Thank you.